Hey guys, it's Jill from Two Dogs Media. I'm putting together a brief video to kind of go through the last two posts I've done about page speed testing, just so you can get a better visual. I know some people like video uh, as opposed to reading. I know I write a lot of content, um, so I just kind of wanted to go through it in a quick video. So basically, when I did a report for PlayfulKitty.net, Robin was kind enough to let me use her as a guinea pig. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to help her as we go through the process and um, hoping to help you guys better understand what's going on. So with her, we just did a basic test out of Dulles, Virginia. If you read the first post, it'll kind of go through how to run a test, but we just did a basic one out of Dulles. We ran three tests. And the reason we run several tests is to get an overview of the three tests. So it's it'll give you an average of each test as opposed to us just running one test and, you know, maybe there's a glitch and, you know, a second test would have been worse or better. Um, so this will give us an average. When we do real audits for clients, we can sometimes do nine or ten tests to really gauge where a website is in terms of speed and content issues um, with resources. So we did three here. And once the test, this is the page that you'll see when the test is done. It gives you performance results and then test results. The performance results are given as a median run, which means they're giving you an average of all three tests. So from all three tests, the average load time, we're going to look at fully loaded for this video. Fully loaded was 28 seconds, um, which is really, really not good. So first view row is as if somebody was coming to your website for the very first time. This is the details. Then they're giving you a repeat view, which emulates people coming to your website after they've already visited. So these are, you know, people who have been to your site once before, and now they may have your images or some of your CSS cached in their browser, so you don't have to deliver as much to them. So for first-time visitors, you can see, we're just going to kind of go over this, um, there's a little more detail in the post. I'm just going to do an overview so you don't listen to me for hours on end. So fully loaded is 28 seconds. You want this to be under two seconds. I mean, that's really the goal of any website is under two seconds. So you can see there's a lot of work to be done here. 221 resources are being requested. That means 221 JavaScript files, CSS files, external ad resources, images, 221 things are being requested before the website is fully rendered. That's a lot. Um, there is no right or wrong answer here. It's what is needed to make your website work well, but you want to make sure you're keeping it within reason. So, um, it's staying loading as fast as it possibly can. Bytes in, this is 12 megabytes. That is huge. Um, I, anytime we release a site, we try to make it under, um, under well under a megabyte, a mega, uh, not even a megabyte, uh, about 200 kilobytes is where we want to be, which is like two tenths of a megabyte. Um, so this is a big issue and we really need to look at that. So with the repeat view, you can see this is still way too high. 11 seconds on a repeat view um, for load for initial load time. Full load time is 13 seconds. 34 requests, which is obviously much better. That means a lot of the resources are cached in the browser. They're not the website doesn't have to return them like it did in the first one. And then 409 kilobytes, which is much more realistic. Like I said, we like to see about 200 kilobytes on an initial view. So this is much, much better. But we still have a long uh, loading time, which would lead me to believe right off the bat it might be an image issue. So, so this is a good overview. Like I said, just kind of take a look at these things. Uh, there, All these other things mean stuff too. I do have it outlined in the post, um, but it's more technical. So if you click on any of the waterfalls, it'll give you a view of the waterfall. Okay. So the first thing I do is I just scroll up and down, see if anything hits me. Nothing strikes me except for these yellows. The highlighted yellows typically mean it's a 302 error, which means a 302 is a type of redirect. So whatever's calling this Google Analytics, whatever's calling that resource is not calling it correctly. So it might be a plugin or maybe she's got it hard coded, but this has moved somewhere else. Same thing for this. It looks like it's moved somewhere else. So anything that's yellow pretty much means it's moved or that maybe it's an HTTPS issue, you have it going to HTTP, maybe they move the resource to HTTPS. Um, so right off the bat, these are the first two things I'd want to kind of take a look at. Um, sometimes you'll see red highlighted columns as well, and those um, usually mean that 
there's something not found, there's a file missing. Um, so those two you can look at separately. If we take a look at the top, you'll see the color-coded keys. These are the ones you kind of are a little bit easier to understand and you want to keep an eye on. HTML is basically, usually in WordPress, it'll just be your index page. JavaScript files are in orange. Um, you can see these are all JavaScript files here. Um, CSS files are in green. So all your CSS files will have little green icons. Image, images are always purple and you'll always see a lot of purple on most waterfalls. Flash, if you have this color in your waterfall, I'm going to come through this screen and hit you. Um, if you are using flash, stop it. Font is red, so anything that's font related. Um, this is actually a font related item, so I you know you can't really see that it's red there, but it is. And the fact that these lines are so tiny makes me really, really happy because this is what you want to see, little tiny lines. So these are more technical in nature. DNS is if you're calling a third party resource or even on your own site, if the DNS is not set up properly to know what the URL is, um, it'll signify that there's an issue with the DNS and it'll show you a really long line in this color. If you see a long line that's orange, that means um, that's how long it's taking to connect to an item. And SSL will signify that there's SSL issues. Um, and thankfully, she doesn't really have any of these going on here. Everything looks pretty good. So she doesn't have any issues with these three things. Um, so this is a big issue right here. This is a first time to bite, which is 6.423, which is way too much. Um, this is typically, if you see a long very first line, this is typically a server issue, and we see a lot of these with GoDaddy, HostMonster, Bluehost. Um, this just means, yeah, trying to explain it simply is, you know, the browser goes to the server and says, okay, server, we need your stuff now so we can deliver the website. And if the server's taking seven seconds, which is what this is, to deliver that stuff before it can start loading all this, that's a big problem being your website should probably load in under two seconds. So this is a huge issue um, right here. I don't know if it's Cloudflare related or hosting related. Um, so this is one thing we definitely need to look at ASAP. Scrolling down, nothing looks horrible. Everything is small. It's nothing too bad except for the purple. When you get to the purple, you can see there's image issues. Um, pretty much every image is taking forever to load. So you know when you're looking at these numbers, milliseconds means it's about a second. This is a second and a half. This is a second and a half. This is five seconds, um, 3.9 seconds. Add all those up, comes to 28 seconds. So, you know, there's a lot. And these are being loaded simultaneously. So, you know, adding these together doesn't necessarily mean two seconds. You can see if the start time and the end time is the same, that means it's loading it at the same time. So some of these do overlap, which is what you want. You want to try and have these things overlapping. Like this is an excellent example. All of these images are being loaded in a sync mode. So they're basically all, everything here is being loaded at the same time. You want your, um, I was just looking at this URL. I wanted to see something real quick. Okay, so all of these that are loading at the same time is kind of what you want. It, it just, it saves, it doesn't, when you start seeing like a waterfall type thing here where it starts to kind of move over to the right, you don't want that. And we'll go into more detail about that later, but that's not a good thing. So a lot of image issues going on here. The other thing I would look at when looking at this waterfall right off the bat, what can I do with these JavaScript files? Because I don't like to load JavaScript files this early on, unless I absolutely have to. You can see, you know, like I said, these are the order of which stuff is being loaded. Do you need to have your FitVid JavaScript, you know, loaded this high up? Can it be coded so that it loads lower, you know, down further? Um, so these are all things that I'd be looking at right off the bat. You know, Pinterest JavaScript, that's 167 milliseconds, which doesn't seem to be a lot of time, but when you have 167 milliseconds, you know, in four different files that, Maybe if we move them to the bottom, you know, it'll speed you up by two seconds. So these are things you kind of want to look at as well. And how many of these files do you really need? Um, in a future post, I'm going to go over how you can determine if you're even using all these files. So maybe you can delete them. Um, so any of these that you are looking at, you can, as you can see, I've been doing it. But if you click on these, it'll give you more information. So say I want to look at an image like 
this one that's taking almost seven seconds to load. I want to see what this image is. I can open this up. These are the details of the images. It'll give you the whole URL. It tells you it's loaded by the website. The host is Playful Kitty, your IP. Um, and here's where it gets interesting. Time to first byte is four seconds. That means for some reason it's taken four seconds to find that image. And then it's taken another two seconds to download it. And then you can see 653 kilobytes is huge for an image. So we have to figure out how we can make that smaller. If we go to the object tab, you can see which image it is. Just so, you know, I know you're not going to remember it by that URL. But now you'll know, oh, that image. Okay, so then you can go back and resize it and reformat it and save it um, as a compressed JPEG. Um, so that's pretty much how you use this. So you can do that for all of your files, every file. If there's a file in here you're not sure of, say we want to see... Um, uh, the pop-up, what, what's loading this pop-up? You can look at it and see, oh, the theme itself is loading that pop-up. So you can kind of get a feel for it, you know, can I make that pop-up go away? Um, so there's a lot of useful stuff. The other thing I wanted to go over today um, was view all images, which we love. A lot of our clients have trouble with the images. They just don't get it. We will do a hopefully an easy to read and understand image post in the near future. Um, but this is really what I wanted to talk about. This tells me right off the bat where I've got images. If you're seeing images this big that are running over the side, they're way too big. Um, this one is 253 kilobytes, which is pretty big. Um, so you want to make sure you're sizing these appropriately. A 653, that's huge. Um, you don't, and it says even optimized is a hundred of, uh, oh, optimized size is 140. I'm not sure, you know, what kind of image optimization she's using, if she is, but it doesn't look like she is. So you want to make sure you're making these images the largest size you possibly need. Um, the larger the image, you know, the worse it's going to be for your website. And there was one, I'm actually looking for a specific image because I wanted to show you. Like this one, I mean, this one is huge. And you can see this is actually a two megabyte image megabytes. I mean, that's a tremendous size for um, an image and you should never have a, an image that size on your website. So image compression and image resizing, I know it's time consuming and nobody wants to do it, but it's really a good thing to do. So just real quick, I'm going to run through um, Fidos of Reality's waterfall. Um, that's a site that I've worked on. I haven't done much speed optimization for it, but once we when we launched, this is about where it was. It was probably five or six seconds. So first view, seven point, uh, uh, let's go over here, time. Fully loaded is nine seconds. Um, and the visitor view, if they come back to the website, is six seconds. You can see even on this one, there's a lot of requests. It's 195 requests, um, which is still huge. And her overall website size is about three megabytes, um, which is too big. I mean, I'll be the first one to say it, it's too big. Um, I don't think it was this big when we launched. I know she's added some things to it, but I wanted to go through hers because she had a little more of some interesting things. So with her um, thing, you can see here um, the JavaScript files. This one's taking a really long time to load. So one of the things I can show you is if I look at this, I can see that that JavaScript is coming from contact form seven. Okay. So maybe what I might want to consider, is there another plugin instead of Contact Form 7 that can help me save this? So that would be the first thing I would look for. Another interesting thing on this one is here. We talked about on the Playful Kitty waterfall, there wasn't any of these. Okay, This is a big DNS lookup, 912 milliseconds, which is nine seconds basically. So what we're seeing here is a lot of green. I don't like to see that. So this is coming from Connect Facebook, which I believe might be the Facebook um, widget that she has on her website. I'm not a fan of those because of these issues. So you might want to consider, you know, is that connection thing really doing you any good? Something to look at. Um, we have some images, you know, that can use some optimizing. Her images are in much better shape than um, some than Playful Kitties were. They're not as long. So you can see her images are loading really pretty quickly. So images are not really an issue. Um, Sumo Me, 
I've seen a lot of issues with this one. Um, I have to do a little more research into this. This is a weird scenario in that the it's calling the sumo me here, and then it leaves this really big space, which we don't normally see too often. So I have to investigate that, but that really shouldn't be like that. Um, and the same thing here, you can see there's some orange and there's some purple. So this is how long it's taking to connect. And then there seems to be some kind of SSL thing going on. Um, so we want to look at that as well. So we have some more JavaScript. Um, you know, we've got eight seconds, about eight seconds here, six seconds, six seconds here. Um, these are all Facebook things. So this is all applicable to third party applications that you're using and bringing into your website. Um, that's what a lot of these times are. I mean, this is this is a long time for Sumo Me to be downloading. Um, you know, this all has some meaning too. I don't want to get too much into that right now because there's a lot. So you want to look at, if you're seeing stuff with a lot of orange, look at where it's pulling from and see if it's something you really, really need. This is the pin it button for images, okay? This is a plugin. I know everybody loves the pin it button for images. Think about if is it really being used. Is it being used? Do you know? You know, test it. See if you delete it. This is from WooCommerce. She can't do much about that. We kind of have to leave it. We'll see if there's things we can do to speed it up. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.